Hey everybody, Chris Grandy. It's been a while since I did a video. This is not good. We need to be doing more videos and I plan on increasing them a bit here as I got squared away. We uh, moved back cross country. Things have been a little crazy on our end. And um, yeah, it's just been the way it is. But today's video, I wanna talk about something that might affect you or a relative. And for the kinds of you know clients that I have where they tend to be pretty responsible for their whole family and kind of the one in the family that is thinking about various things, you know, downsizing for for seniors and retirees. This last real estate boom we had in the last couple months, though there are definitely demographic issues behind it, does allow an opportunity to really bail out people who didn't save as much money. So this, I'm gonna call this the bailout for the boomers. And I want this to be a quick video because I wanna share the idea with you. Maybe we'll expand on it later, but I wanted to get this, with some of my videos, my goal is to just get some planning ideas in your head to get how you think. And I wanted to just throw this out there to say, hey, you know what? You know, this, this real estate boom that came after the virus, you know, if we had real economic problems, if there were problems after this, some dislocations, you know, things could change. But right now, real estate's pretty hot in some in, in many areas. And it does give boomers an opportunity to sell if they were thinking about selling to not be the last one holding the bag, you know, to sell out. Um, again, there's demographics that are very positive for this, for real estate. So I'm not saying that there's, there's a setup here where it could go bad, but just think that if your parents or you, if you didn't have the best saving situation before COVID, and then all of a sudden you get a little taste of what financial panic could be and potential risk, and then you get bailed out and all of a sudden, you know, your $800,000 home is being bid up to eight fifty dollars or nine hundred. dollars you have to look at that and say, hey, you know, this is kind of a gift from God. I, I have a chance to get out of my house, and cash out nicely, and then enjoy my retirement. Again, especially for those people that don't have a lot of other assets. You really got to think about it this way because, you know, there are demographic forces, there are trends in place that might make the real estate market keep going. But if it did not, and you didn't take advantage of this opportunity. And that could just simply mean, you know, you sell your very expensive house and you downsize to something more reasonable. You still can own some real estate, but you want it to be a bit more reasonable. To really think about the, if this situation, if what I'm talking about applies to you, if you've give, been given a second chance, if you were paranoid during the COVID drop when you saw your stocks falling and you thought everything was going down, that you got this second chance. And if you had wanted to make some plans and you were waiting, maybe that should motivate you to do that. So for those of you in that situation, and for those of you who are children of people who are in that situation and you're partly responsible for advising them, take this second chance into account and add this to your planning protocol. And some of, some of the things that you throw around when it comes to future planning for you and your parents, or if it's you we're talking about for you. So just some thought there. Were you bailed out by COVID, the COVID real estate boom? Did you get the boomer bailout? What should you be doing right now? Should you keep sitting on your hands or is it really time to take the action that you maybe thought about taking last year, but then got the proper scare and the, and the, uh, and, and the little fire under your butt from, from, from the virus and the economic issues to say, hey, you know what, time to take some action. So hope that helps you. Hope it helps you take some action, whatever direction that is. And uh, any questions, drop them below. Thanks for watching.